Hello, my name's Christine. Today I've been working in the garden and today I want to create a habitat for a skink. I'm thinking about blue tongues and garden skinks. By the end of this video, you're going to tell me what are the features of a skink garden and then I'm going to get you to design your own garden. So if I'm going to learn about skink habitat, the best thing I can do is to go out into the bush and see where they live. The logs here are a perfect hiding place for them. There's lots for them to hide inside and also underneath. There's also all of these native grasses nearby. That's perfect habitat for them to hide in. And there might be other insects hiding in there that they can eat as well. So it looks like my garden has a great start already. The native grasses and plants here are at the perfect height for skinks. I've noticed that the birds are coming to eat the flowers on my grevillea plant. And there's lots of mulch here, which is important for keeping the water in the ground and it's a really good place for the skinks to lay their eggs because it's nice and warm underneath. I've just got back from my local nursery and landscaping supply centre and I've got some things to help make my habitats. So I've got myself a nice big log and it's hollow on the inside so the blue tongue lizard can hide underneath. There might be some smaller garden skinks around here too. So I've got another small log that I'm going to place here in the sun. Skinks also like to come out and sun themselves. They're cold-blooded animals, so they need the warmth of the sun to be able to move around during the day. So this nice smooth rock is going to be a good spot for them to sun, and then they can go and hide underneath the log. Skinks and other animals also need some good water supply. I actually have a tap here, so I'm really lucky. So what I've done is I've dug a little bit of a hole here underneath my tap, and I've got some small rocks and I'm going to fill them in here so that whenever I turn my tap on, I've still got some of that water there that's going to stay in the ground and the lizards can come up and crawl through the rocks and the water will be there for them when they need it. We also want to make sure they've got a constant water supply. So I've got an old pot that's been lying around and I'm going to fill that up with water and put it in another spot in the garden. Make sure you place some sticks inside so the smaller skinks can climb out. I'm really glad I've got this nice tall tree here too because some of the bigger birds like the parrots, the lorikeets, the cockatoos, they might like to sit in this garden and they might like to go down and eat some of the nectar in the flowers. So now it's your turn. Let's see what you've learnt. For this activity you will need some paper, a ruler and a pencil. In your workbooks put the heading Garden Design. Then rule up two columns. In the left column, we're going to write down skink needs and on the right, we're going to write down why it's needed. Think of all the things I talked about in the video. I've written some examples for you here, but there are more for you to add. I also mentioned other animals, so make a list of their needs too and then fill in the right hand column. Next, we're going to draw a garden plan. I'm using mine as an example, but think of a place at home or school and be creative. Make your own garden design. Use simple drawings to show features like plants, logs and rocks. Next, annotate your plan. This means use arrows and descriptive words to describe what's in your diagram. Keep going until you're finished. When you're finished, show mum and dad or show your teacher back at school. <laughs> 